am Adrian, and welcome to Kiwi's Crochet Corner. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, I usually do yarn and crochet content. Occasionally, I'll talk a little bit about knit. Some haven't finished or still haven't figured out how to do that yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, and if you're not new to my channel and you've been watching for a while, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for, you know, keeping up with my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Hey guys, and welcome to another Whip Wednesday. I am currently filming outside on the balcony because, uh, it's much better lighting. Hopefully the wind is not so bad that you guys can't hear. Um, it'll be a short Whip Wednesday video. Um, so last week, you know, I talked about trying to finish up the Hawthorne hoodie that I was working on. Um, well, I ran out of yarn. That one I was working on, uh, uh, I was using a uh, Caron Simply Soft Tweeds. Um, I didn't get that one finished because I ran out of, uh, out of out of yarn and it might take me a little bit to get some more of that color so that I can finish it up however I did finish this little guy he is a little axolotl I've been playing around with this pattern um, I made a, a pink one that was a little bit smaller than this guy um, you know my daughter wants this one um, and I had planned for the pink one to go to uh, her cousin, um, my, my niece Carmen's birthday is tomorrow. So I had planned for the pink one to go to Carmen for her birthday and then Casey Monroe wanted the blue one. It kind of looks like a little tadpole. This little, the tail looks like a little tadpole to me. Um, Casey Monroe wanted this one, um, but Kiwi sort of confiscated the pink one so I think I'm gonna give this blue one to Carmen um, I believe she's turning four um, I'll give her this blue one and then that will give Casey the opportunity to pick out the colors that she would like for her axolotl I keep wanting to call it an oxalotl but it's really pronounced axolotl um, and that is the only finished project that I have this week um, because the solution to running out of yarn for the other Hawthorne hoodie was for me to start another Hawthorne hoodie in a different color. <laughs> now that one I actually do have most of the way finished. Um, and I am doing a, it's, it's color controlled, um, but that one is, the, the one I just started is actually almost finished. Um, however, I'm running into the problem of having, I'm, I'm nearly out of yarn. Again, I'm three cakes, I'm three cakes in and I'm almost out of yarn. So I'm going to have to go pick up a yarn, some more yarn to finish this second Hawthorne hoodie. Um, but, so I just, I just brought the sleeve. Um, because I, I am finished with the back panel and the front panel. Um, but, and this, this is one of the sleeves. Um, and just to, I just brought the, just the sleeve to show you the colors on how it's working out. Um, there's the ribbing on the sleeve. Um, I am using Lion Brand Mandala in the colorway uh, Diagon Alley. And I am control. I'm color controlling this a great deal, um, so that the striping on each sleeve matches, so that the striping on the front and the pack panel, front and pack, front and back panels match, and so that there's no color changes like in the center. Um, which when I decided to do this, I didn't realize that, that was going to, I should have, I should have accounted for the fact that I was color controlling, um, cause that's part of the reason why I'm running low on yarn now. Um, and then 
for this one, I decided to do a size large, um, but I'll probably sell it as a medium because the pattern is made for a worsted weight yarn and Mandala is a lightweight three um, or, or DK. So it'll probably turn out to be a medium. Um, eventually I'll get it finished and it'll be available for purchase in the shop. Um, so that is my current whip. Now I have a whole bunch of other whips that still need to be finished. That was actually my New Year's resolution this year was to finish up all the projects from 2022. So if I run out of yarn for this pastel rainbow hoodie, I'm probably going to set it aside and search through my whips to find one that I have the yarn to complete um, and start working on on that this week um, you know and I might make a couple more oxalotls I don't know I, I really enjoy this pattern it's a no sew pattern and of course I'll link all of the yarns shown in this video um, as well as the the two patterns um, in the description box if anybody wants to check them out um, so that's, that's pretty much all I have for Whip Wednesday. I mean, in the upcoming week, like I said, if I run out of yarn, I'm going to look through and see what whips I have that are, that really need to be finished. Because I've, I have whips probably from 2020 that, it, that aren't finished yet for whatever reason. I got bored with them or, you know, uh, I, I know there's probably a few others that I ran out of yarn for. But that doesn't mean that I haven't bought the yarn since and just haven't picked the project back up. Um, but anyways, that's what I got going on for this week. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I'm not sure which video is the next one to come up or the next one that's going to be released. But uh, yeah, there, there should be another one this week sometime. Um, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.